So here's a common thing that you might want to do in Excel, and that is compare two lists. You might have downloaded two lists, you might have a list and you've downloaded from somewhere else, or you're comparing it with someone else. So in this example, I've got this list of videos here that I've created, and these are some of them. Then, in another book, I've actually downloaded some that I think are on YouTube, and that is li this list here. So what I want to do is check it against the other one, and I can see from the row number here, it says 13 here. And if I go back to that original book, you'll see it's got 15. So clearly some are missing. And I, it's a short list, I could actually just go through it. But I'm going to use VLOOKUP to do the checking for me. This is a really useful function, and I do have a video on this, a tutorial all about VLOOKUP. So you can go and check that out if you want. So what I'm going to do, start off by clicking on my insert function here. Insert function is available on all versions of Excel, whether it's Windows or Mac, so I just simply click there. It comes up with my insert function here. It happens to be one of the functions at the top here, because I've recently used it. You could find it by going into Lookup and Reference, and it would be down here. Or I could simply type it in at the top, click Go, and there it is. I'm just going to double click it. I could click on OK. And it comes up with the arguments that I need to fill in here. So the value that I'm looking up is this one here. I need to look it up in a particular table. Now this table could be in this workbook. It could be on this sheet or on another sheet. But for this, I just wanted to show you that you could actually do it if it had it in another file. So now I just go back down to the bottom here, choose this book here, highlight just this table, of which this table just has one column. So that is all I need to highlight. Don't highlight any titles at the top, just the data that you're interested in. You'll see it's put in dollar signs here. This is quite useful because when you then copy your formula in a moment, you don't want these cell references to change. You want that to be the table. And you know that if you copy it, it can change that. If it doesn't put the dollar signs in, Pressing F4 right now would put them in for you if you're using Windows, or Command T if you're using a Mac. The information that I want is in column 1. The other thing I want to do is in this range lookup, it's not going to be an exact match. And if you were to look at the other tutorial I've done, it explains a bit more about this. But basically, the range lookup tells you whether it's in ascending order or not. And if it's not, then you probably want it to be an exact match. And to do that, you just simply type in false. I'm now going to click on OK. I'm just going to widen that column. By virtue of the fact that it's appeared here means it exists in both workbooks. I'm going to copy this just by simply dragging down. I'm using the autofill, so I'm grabbing the right-hand corner. And you can see, I'm just going to widen this column again, and you can see the ones that are missing have got this hash n slash a. And they're the ones that are not there. Now you might want to tidy this up. I'm just going to put it in the top here. I'm just going to call this in list. So you can see now immediately which ones are missing. But I'm just going to tidy it up. So what I'm going to do is use another function. I'm going to go back to this top one here. There's a function called is na. So I'm just going to type in is na another bracket, and then another bracket at the end, and press Enter. I'm going to copy it, and you'll see that the ones that did have the NA there say true. But actually, I'd like it the other way around, just to tidy it up, so that in the list, it says true if it's in the list. Now, to do that, I'm going to go back to that top one again. I'm going to go to the beginning, just after the equals, and I'm going to type in not. And that basically will reverse it round, so that now it says true there and false for where it had the NA before. So now I can look down this list and say, is it in the list? No, no, and I need to go and do something about it. So that is how you can use VLOOKUP to check for data from one list in one workbook or sheet or somewhere else on the sheet in another workbook.